Monkey, and welcome back, everyone. It's me, Jack, live at the Monkey House. If you're just joining us, we are right in the middle of a round of questions and answers. But don't worry, I've got the question right here on this blue card in front of me. Allow me to read this. This is from our friend Ginger, who moments ago asked us, if you could be any celebrity on Earth, which celebrity would you be? I've already given my answer. Of course, I would be Sir Paul McCartney. <laughs> that answer's off the table, although any one of our answerers can choose that one if they want to, and then they and I are twinsies. Uh, Ginger wants to know, and now I want to know, too, if you could be any celebrity, which celebrity would you be? And now, let's get our first answer out of a pint-sized answerer. Very exciting. Let's start in Florida. Say hello, me monkey knots, to Annabelle. Hey there, Annabelle. Hello. Welcome to the monkey house. This is exciting. Uh, Annabelle, uh, Ginger wants to know, if you could be a celebrity, which celebrity would you be? I'd be Taylor Swift. Oh, same, same. That's what Ginger said, too. Why would you want to be Taylor Swift, Annabelle? I really love her songs. Oh, yeah. Uh, are there particular songs of her that you like the most? Uh, any that spring to mind? I'm just curious. That's what people say. That's what people say. I love that one the most. Oh, nice. Uh, like, are these songs that you like so much that you, like, sing them on your own when you're not listening to them? You're just constantly singing them? Um, well... Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. That That's the mark of a, a song that you love, where when the song isn't on, you're still making that song happen just because you can't stop singing it. Well, Annabelle, it sounds like you're partway toward being Taylor Swift if you already know her material audience. Give it up for Annabelle in Florida. And now let's stick it out with Tennessee's own Cheyenne. It's Cheyenne in Tennessee coming to answer Ginger's question. Hey, Cheyenne, how are you? Good. Great. Are you also going to say Taylor Swift as your answer to Ginger's question? So far, everyone's saying Taylor Swift. No, I'm going to choose Dolly. Do oh, wait, Dolly Parton? That Dolly? Mm hmm Oh, what a great choice. What a great role model. Oh, man, Dolly Parton. I mean, I, I, at last count, she has given away over 300 million books to kids all around the United States. Uh, and, of course, the songs. Don't get, don't get me started. Why do you like Dolly Parton so much, Cheyenne? Because uh, I've been to her museum and stuff. Oh, you, wait, is that in Dollywood? Dollywood. Oh, you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's it like at Dollywood? I've never been there before. I would love to go. Uh, Tennessee's pretty far from Seattle where I live, so I haven't had the chance. Well, what's it like? It has different kinds of rides, and you get to go, go through a big museum. Oh, fun. That's exciting. And uh, what are the rides? Like regular uh, like fair rides, like roller coasters and things like that? No, there's like carnival rides and stuff. There's like a shooting star I like. Oh, super fun. Oh, my gosh. Um, and how uh, have you been to Dollywood one time, or is that a place you go a lot? I go that lot. Oh, yo, okay, wow. So wait, are you a season ticket holder to Dollywood, Cheyenne? Maybe not yet. Oh, we, we should we should crowdsource and crowdfund you a season ticket to Dollywood. Seems like you'd be right at home there. Audience, give it up for Cheyenne in Tennessee, who says... Dolly Parton. Okay, great. So far, everyone's a musician uh, in our uh, celebrity uh, claim off. Now let's go to our final answerer to Ginger in Texas's question from New Mexico. It's Aiden. Hello, Aiden in New Mexico. Hi. Aiden, are you going to say Taylor Swift or Dolly Parton? No. Hey, you're welcome to, by the way. Uh, uh, two people have said Taylor Swift, one said Dolly Parton, and one, I won't tell you who, said Paul McCartney. Hey, to tell us, if you could be any celebrity, which one would you be? I would be Dwayne, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Ah, yes. Smolder Bravestone uh, from the Jumanji movies. I mean, he's been in everything. Tamath, oh, no, wait. Uh, who is he? He's, um, uh, he's Maui from Moana. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Why did you choose him? I chose him because, like, every, every time 
Like, he's my favorite actor. Oh, yeah. And I love when he does the opera thing. Wait, when he does what? Sorry? The eyebrow thing where he raises his eyebrow. <gasps> oh, yeah, totally. Yes, yes. Uh, for anyone that hasn't seen Jumanji, uh, when Smolder, uh, is it Smolder Bravestone? Is that his name? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Smolder, <laughs> something like that. He has this look. It's like one of his skills that uh, he has this look and suddenly it just makes everything seem really serious. He just raises an eyebrow and everyone goes, oh, oh, it got really serious in here. <laughs> so are you working on that, Aiden? Do you have a mirror? Are you working on your eyebrow moves? I actually am. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> so what happens when you raise your eyebrow like Smolder Bravestone? Uh, well, what happens? Um, usually nothing. Oh, okay. Well, hey, one of these days, you're just going to get it in just the right position, and you're going to notice the air change in the room. Like, the lighting's going to dim or get brighter. Like, there's going to be a chill in the air, maybe, or, like, a wind will blow through. I, I, you're just going to know it when it happens. It's it's kind of like magic. Well, I was giving up for Aiden in New Mexico, who is slowly, uh, eyebrow raising his way to becoming Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Amazing. Ginger in Texas, what a great question. Thank you for that.